So Fisker has now spoken. We're thrilled to see the overwhelming enthusiasm for our products. Due to the extraordinary number of customers exploring our inventory, 700 calls per second, and making purchases, you might experience a slight delay on our website. Rest assured, our team is working diligently to expand and enhance our systems. We have reduced pricing on model year 2023 Extreme, Ultra and Sport, Ocean One does not receive a price reduction. New pricing is now live on FiskerInc.com. We'd like to provide some clarification on recent business updates. Our commitment to our Fisker customers remains unwavering. We will continue to provide vehicle servicing through our mobile service and at Fisker service centers. Additionally, we're continuing to roll out the 2.0 software update to all Fisker owners and actively developing future software releases. Thank you for being part of the Fisker fam. I'm really happy about the updates people really need version 2. But if there's 700 calls per second, you'd have to assume the oceans are all sold out already. But there's more to that story. Let's look into it. Model year 2023 price reduction, shop inventory. All right, United States, state, like this matters. Inventory is not available in this location. All right, well, let's just pick something close to me. How about, we can do the big five, but I think Maryland's probably gonna yield the best results. Uh, need a postal code for Maryland. 21117. Got it. Search inventory. Please do not refresh this page. In Owings Mills, we have one Ultra for 35698, one Fisker Ocean 1 for 69198, one Fisker Ocean Extreme for 37499 in black with the F5B, another in blue with the 20 inch, a silver lining with F3A Extreme 37698, another Extreme Mariana Blue 20 inch wheel 37499, Fisker Ocean 1 69198, don't buy that. And that's it. So Owings Mills, Maryland zip code gets you three Extremes and one Ultra. And if you decide you want to buy it, you have to contact Fisker. You give them your name and your email as well as your phone number, and you allow all the privacy stuff. Let's see what other people are saying. Just visited the Vista location in San Diego. A few sports on the lot for sale, and they have spare parts available. I had a broken window, and they had it in stock. The three employees said customers were walking up with cash ready to buy a vehicle. I don't know the accuracy of this next statement. All new car companies must have a trust fund set aside to honor the warranties even if they go under. He said, warranty and parts. I'm an Ocean One owner, love the vehicle. Looking to buy an Ultra during the fire sale. Here's a former employee. At the time I was laid off from the company, there were less than 3,000 Oceans in the U.S. At the two locations I was managing, Odessa, D.C. and Owings Mills, there were a total of 320 Oceans. Most are one Extreme and Ultra. Only a handful of sport models available nationwide. I do not recommend purchasing an Ocean at any price, as parts availability during the, quote, good times, end quote, was limited. Other than HVAC vents and control modules for those vents and accessories, it was next to impossible to get replacement parts. If you love the ocean and want to own it, buy two. One to drive and one for parts. There was an article linked in Reddit, same thing, no sports for sale in the U.S. Also mentioned that he spoke to a rep at Classic in Georgia. Many of the cars that are in inventory have upgrades which won't be discounted. Here's a question. Did the Ocean 1 or Extreme ever really exist, considering people paid 12000 for 8S features that will never be? Great question. This is from a Fisker Ocean location visitor in Europe. Everyone received their salary on time and keeps working, although they have no idea how long the company will exist. Demand is still strong and they are delivering at least a handful of cars every day. Demand was never a problem, only a lack of staff and logistics. Everyone was telling me the car was released six months too early because the software wasn't finished. We all know that. That caused extreme pressure on service and created all the bad press. Everyone hopes that someone will come up and invest into Fisker or buys the company and keeps the ball rolling. Another half hour with a technician revealed some insights on version 3.0 and 4.0. Software team is working full steam and they are continuously in contact with Fisker service to address and resolve issues. They had four Fisker Ocean Ones running a beta of 3.0, which they claim is almost ready for release and shall be rolled out to customers in April. Version 3 has lots of bug fixes, but only a limited number of new features. I've been shown a Fisker Ocean 1 running an alpha version of 4.0 with adaptive cruise control. I wasn't allowed to take pictures, but I've witnessed it with my own eyes. Adaptive cruise is already working, but they are still refining it and planning to release it in May, if Fisker still exists. Many other changes and enhancements will be incorporated into 4.0, I've been told.
All that is unverified, so take from that what you will. Can't believe there's no tech company jumping on this. Apple trying to make a car, here's cars already made. I don't know what there is to buy, as far as the bankruptcy. Magna Software and Hardware, I guess Fisker owns the IP for the cheap alternative parts that they wanted to use instead of the quality parts that Magna offered to use. And if there's something there, you would have to think somebody already took this opportunity. Oh, and the books. Something's probably up with the books. A bunch in Maryland, Owings Mills has literally tons. Do you have the only sport? I think there are about a dozen based on feedback. I guess that's the only silver lining for me buying when I did. Silver lining obviously being an ocean color. I don't think price reductions is going to solve the issue, well put. Does anybody in Fisker management, aka family, have business acumen? We paid too much and we'll never be able to get good resale value. Today, Fisker Belgium and this small team is doing a great job selling the Fiskers. They have sold out the current inventory at normal prices and asked Germany to send more stock vehicles. Henrik should reach out to them to see how cars are sold. Thanks for the good work. Your realistic views are needed at this moment. Thank you for your insights. As I saw, the last balance sheet of Fisker calculated that the vehicles are an average of 41k. At the end, Fisker will not earn money, only switch one balance position inventory to another, cash. When you don't earn money, you burn money. Correct. Cars to cash. And cash is easier to steal. I'm in SoCal. Currently see about a dozen vehicles on the site. Single Ocean 1, 69k. Multiple Extremes, 38k. Multiple Ultras, 35k. Any Canadians in the comments? How are you able to purchase your ocean? Did you import from New York? If you have an answer to this one, help our commenter out down below. It would only be a fire sale if the inventory didn't meet the cost of production. A fire sale would be another 50% cut or a public auction under liquidation. There wasn't a Chapter 7, though I fully expect Chapter 11. I'm starting to think Chapter 11 won't be possible because there won't be anything left except an inaccurate record of where the money is. The app takes me to their website. Once I enter my country, state, and zip code, I see 15 oceans, one one at full price, Price, two ultra and 12 extremes all discounted by 24,000. They all indicate that they are ready to ship in as few as two days. Just left a showroom in LA, tried to buy one for 37K and left with nothing. They said price is not live yet, waiting on a call. I think they're just collecting data. I believe it's more about liquidation than survival. The 2.0 update came too late. The bad rep is there and their pockets are empty. My comment to this person was it should have been delivered with 4.0. And of course, we all know that. There are probably ones that are awaiting entry to Port of Baltimore. That's going to take a while. Down below, they reiterate that a cargo ship knocked down the bridge. I've been to a Vista, California location recently. They have 30 to 40 oceans on sale, mostly ones in extremes. There are a few ultras. Had Red Planet and Seagrass. The fire sale is a brilliant strategy. Get as many 2.0 updated vehicles to customers that are super happy with the price cut as well. Don't know how much of this is strategy. A brilliant strategy would have been to launch a complete car and let people review it. As a Fisker Ocean Ultra owner, I don't like this kind of fire sale for sure. What's more practical is to have the bankruptcy executor keep these inventory for any service companies who want to continue to service the ocean. One inventory can probably support five to seven cars running. This is a great point. I can't imagine buying one when they haven't given the title to the guy you featured on Monday who took delivery in October. Bingo. They have more inventory than sales. If they had put more cars on the road, they would have more cash. I'm surprised they didn't do this before missing their loan payment. They were wrong about their pricing strategy. Also, bingo. What are your thoughts on price change and your buying decision in general? Great question. I bought it to test it. Three drivers in my house, four cars. And one driver is 16, so he doesn't even have a car yet. It's a throwaway car for now instead of a potential integration into my fleet. I do think as a silver lining... People will trust my opinions about the situation since I'm an owner. I hope you guys do. And if you do, hit subscribe. I got plenty more on this as it develops. I saw 25 to 30 oceans at Owings Mills. Thank you for that. Fisker is unbelievably unlikely to ever deliver cars it sells from Friday forward. My assumption is that Fisker ends all activities eight days from now. If you buy a car on Friday, you are just buying a spot in the creditor's line in bankruptcy court. Food for thought. You think it's worth getting an extreme now for under 40k. Ask yourself who will register it, where you'll get a new part after an accident, and who you will call if you have a question, and you'll arrive at your own conclusion. My wife and son are out doing something I didn't want to do, and it gave me a perfect time to finish this video. I am literally sitting in the car, and yes, we didn't take the ocean on vacation. I wonder why. Anyway, I'm going to throw this video together, and that's where I'm going to stop right now. Your insights have been helpful. We're all looking for a silver lining here, and for those who do have a silver lining, do you think it's blue? Subscribe for more. Check out Patreon, YouTube member, 
Supporting the channel gets you early access to upcoming videos. And once again, if you're still here, please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. See you next time. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.